Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Action Media Reviews. Yeah, I know I haven't posted anything in a little while. I had a couple of medical issues that kind of kept me from uh, feeling like making videos or doing much of anything. But I'm uh, I'm not 100%, but I'm back to uh, uh, just about 100%. I'm back to post some videos again, and that's what's important. So I picked up the new... Retro figures. Yeah, G.I. Joe Retro. Found these in Walmart yesterday. Local Walmart, just a few miles from my house. The Officer and Grunt. So Grunt, you could also look at as a troop builder. Uh, this is basically Stalker with a different head. Um, different accessories. He comes with a very accurate looking uh, M16 rifle and a 1911. As you can see right there, if I can move the glare away on the case, I'm using the Mock Masters 3.75 case that does fit these just barely. They're snug, man. They they uh, they do fit right in there and with without any issues. So uh, if you want to pick up some Mock Masters cases, I believe these are in stock. Anyway, back to Grunt. He comes with the backpack and the helmet. Give you a little bit of a trying to get a better close-up there there's some light reflecting from my uh recording device my my phone on the back you have the little bit of a bio here which just says uh familiar with all nato and warsaw pact small arms as well as domestic and civilian arms a highly motivated systematic individual so uh grunt could take i could see this guy being used as a green shirt army builder and uh, with him also being stalker uh, the stalker figure the new uh, figure mold he has the uh, hip rotator articulation as well as the calf rotation and the uh, the highly articulated wrist with the uh, the disc that will allow it to actually move like this really cool uh, they they don't have bicep articulation and then next, we have the Cobra Officer. Yes, the Cobra Officer. And here, you know, we're going into these retro figures with uh, some more realistic weapon weapons accessories. Uh, I believe this is an HK uh, MP7 uh, submachine gun that he has here. And he comes with the mortar launcher. Again, with that glare, I might have to take this uh, figure out of the case here. I'll actually, I'll do this for both of them so that you can get a little better look. Man, did you hear that? These things lock up super tight. That's a little bit better. Uh, it's still got some glare on it, but you see the mortar launcher back there. He does come with the Cobra Officer helmet, a stand labeled Cobra Officer, and an AK-47. Another very realistic looking uh, gun accessory. I, I really dig that. I think they're doing an awesome job with these retro figures, uh, giving them realistic uh, firearms. A lot of people want that. They've they've asked for that for a long time. And he also has what appears to be a 1911 there, maybe. But uh, and of course he has the web gear. And this this figure is literally the trooper with. Uh, I'm looking at a trooper right now. Uh, the trooper with a silver belt buckle and the silver Cobra sigil on the chest. Uh, they could have updated that on the artwork. I think it would have been really nice for them to have the silver chest logo showing on the card art, but it is the officer card art with the AK-47 showing. Uh, very cool figures. Again, with the additional articulation in the legs you have the hip rotator you have the calf rotator and the uh, uh highly articulate articulate highly articulated wrists that allows for the additional movement there and these are staying at a price around 13 bucks cobra officers are frontline fighters who lead cobra attack units in battle Ooh, couldn't hit anything you're kind of like stormtroopers so anyway very nice figure. I, I'm digging the retro line. Everything new that comes out, I like it. I I, I want to buy up as much of it as possible. Um, it, it's kind of like uh, when it first started, 
when they first started the retro line, I kept telling myself, you're going to buy these because they're GI Joe. And I would buy them and I'd look at them and I'm like, ah, I, I don't like them. I'm going to, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get rid of these. Well, the more figures they've released, the more I've actually liked them. So th these two figures actually came as um, they were released somewhat as their own wave, but they go with the Cobra Commander, Duke, and Lady J, and Stalker, as you can see on the back here. And on the first wave of figures, you would s you see the uh, the five or six sorry six figures here on the back uh, on the back of their cards. So. But, uh, but yeah, a lot of people talk are talking about how they think the G.I. Joe line might be dead, might be dying, all based on the poor performance of the movie. I don't think so. I think that uh, they're holding out on us. I think they are waiting until PulseCon to make a release of, uh, of more figures. At least that's what I'm hoping. It's kind of a rumor going around right now that we're going to get the Crimson Twins the animated series Storm Shadow, the uh, uh, Master of Disguise Zartan, and uh, possibly another figure. But again, that's all speculation and rumor. I haven't seen anything at all confirmed for that. And PulseCon's uh, like a month away. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to get some of these really cool things from PulseCon. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, you know, an, another buddy in China hooked me up with this. Another, a, another guy in China hooked up me and a, a friend of mine here in, Ohio, uh, a friend of mine in Ohio that I meet up with every few months, hooked us up with the covert agent Ravage and a couple more of the master of disguise Zartan figures. It's really cool to make friends and whatnot in these groups and to, um, be able to help each other out and get some of these figures before they're available here and uh, you know if there's anything that we can you know hook these people up with shipping to uh shipping to hong kong is not cheap and it's not fast but it happens it's it's doable speaking of shipping another reason why a lot of people think that these toy lines are failing or being discontinued is because we don't see anything on the shelves it's really difficult right now for uh, ordering or or buying anything that's typically easy to just go pick up. Uh, that's like, you know, today we went to, uh, my, my fiance and I went to Menards to get a new light for the, uh, for the bottom of the microwave and got to order it. No idea when it's going to be in, but we got to order it. Uh, if you've watched any of the news lately, there, there were 65, uh, cargo ships that were outside of, uh, one of the main harbors in California, uh, with shipments from Asia coming in of, of goods to hit the U S market. And I fully believe that there are certainly some, uh, toys in those shipping containers. It's just, you know, stuff coming from the factories over there. That's part of the, part of the price of doing business in China. It's unfortunate, but it is a fact of life. Uh, yeah, I would definitely pay more for these items if they were produced here in America. I would happily pay more, uh, to buy American made items. But, you know, unfortunately right now, that's just not an opportunity that we have. Just to show you real quick that this figure is stalker right down to the knife accessory. The actually the knife accessory appears to be a little bit different for grunt. Uh, there are ridges on the grip, but the pistol that he comes with is the same and right down to the web gear. The figure is wearing, they are the same figure. Now I've seen some people complain about this, about how, Hasbro seems to be lazy. Hasbro's lazy. They're reusing all these parts. They complain about it with the classified figures. They complain about it with the retro figures. But guess what? They did it back in the 80s too. And the people that I see complaining are people that like vintage stuff. Like how? How can you complain about this? 
when the toy line that you claim to be so into and love reused parts all the time it's <laughs> it happens people it happens uh if if you're not okay with it maybe try doing some uh, some customization or whatnot maybe hit up uh, marauders task force and get some uh some custom pieces if you really want your figures to be a little bit different me i like them just like this or just like this the redeco scarlet i'll uh, i'll put together a short video on her and do a comparison between this fig that figure and the first release of the classified scarlet as well all right be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post new videos it's been great talking to you all again yo joe